What's up guys, Hector here, and today is Halloween, so I thought I'd make a little video talking about the customs and the traditions and stuff that we do for Halloween here in the United States of America. Now there's a few countries out there that celebrate Halloween, but they might do it a little bit differently than we do it, so, you know, I thought I'd talk about it and maybe you guys can, can compare, or if you're in a country that doesn't even celebrate Halloween, you can see what we do and, I don't know, just get a little feel or something I don't know all right so for Halloween everybody well people that celebrate Halloween I should say because not everybody celebrates it they um, usually dress up their house or decorate their house I should say the front of their house to make it look all scary and kind of run down sometimes they'll use fake spider webs and sometimes fake spiders and scarecrows sometimes scary um, characters you know common kind of horror book you know movie and you know just things like witches I I have a Frankenstein or Frankenstein's monster I should say sometimes people put bats up you know all these are fake of course they don't put real bats and then <clears throat> sometimes they put pumpkins out on the front of their you know house and some a small margin of people just have pumpkins on there I guess because it's you know a harvest type vegetable or well it's a squash or whatever but most people actually cut open the pumpkin and scoop out all the insides and then carve a little design on the front of it and then stick a candle in it and then it lights up and it's kind of a creepy looking face sometimes people make some awesome designs I actually talk more about carving pumpkins and even carve one of my own pumpkins in another video so I'll link to that and you guys can check that out if you want. And then on Halloween, the day, because you can do all that stuff throughout the month of October. Some people wait until it's closer to Halloween. But then on the day Halloween, October 31st, every single year it's October 31st, people dress up in different costumes. Kids usually do fun stuff like, you know, Power Rangers or fairies and, you know, just, you know, fun things. But most people do scary things like, you know, ghosts, goblins and witches and different things. And then there's a lot of people that have just decided to wear s sexy, scantily clad costumes for some reason. I don't know. They just did. And um, kids, not adults, but kids go around from door to door. Well, at least the houses that have decorations up because not everybody celebrates Halloween. They knock on the door and then, you know, they have a bag and then they say trick or treat. And then the people in the house give them a piece of candy. And that's called trick or treating. And, you know, it's just a little custom type thingy that we do. And then kids get free candy. And sometimes the people that own the house try and scare them or whatever. Because, <laughs> you know, Halloween is just, you know, kind of thing. It's usually a scary type holiday. And so some people like to scare people like that. But um, for the adults, again, adults don't go trick-or-treating, and usually around the teen years, kids stop trick-or-treating. And um, <clears throat> so adults usually have parties, costume parties, so they'll still wear costumes, but then they just hang out and have a little party, probably drink and, you know, have music and all that stuff. I don't know, I don't really go to Halloween parties, and I haven't held a Halloween party in a really, really long time. But that's pretty much what most people do in the, in the United States for Halloween. And, um, you know, it kind of goes back to some, you know, old pagan holiday where it was just, you know, a, an autumn festival, harvest festival, I think. And then supposedly it was also a holiday where the dead rose from the, the grave or something like that. And I believe people, you know, used to wear scary costumes to scare away the spirits. I think that was the original tradition and where it came from, but I'm not 100% sure. And, you know, I have been told a lot of things that ended up being lies that I didn't find out until later in life, even though the schools taught me. But, um, yeah, so... Also, <laughs> the people, the adults, I should say, that hand out the candy, they usually just get fun size or bite-sized candies so you can buy like a whole bag for just a few dollars 
and then they hand out like one piece of a small candy to each trick-or-treater and then if you're really really lucky but it's really really rare people will give out entire candy bars to trick-or-treaters but like I said that is really rare that hardly ever happens <clears throat> and sometimes people would just put a bowl out of candy and say please take one but then you know kids they'll just take a bunch because nobody's there <clears throat> but um I think that's about all most people do for Halloween sometimes you might you know have other traditions there was an older traditions of bobbing for apples there would be a whole you know big tub of water with apples floating in there and you're supposed to have your hands tied behind your back and then you just dunk your head in and try and bite an apple and then get one and that's called bobbing for apples but you know as time went on they're saying that's a really unsanitary thing and I think there was even some crazy people that started putting razor blades in apples and then you just get a razor blade stuck in your gums and that was terrible so yeah people don't really bob for apples anymore and then sometimes you know there are some people well a lot of people usually watch scary movies and so TV you know TV channels usually put up, out a bunch of scary movies throughout the entire month or sometimes maybe the last 13 days of the month but I like to watch a lot of scary movies and um, sometimes even play some scary video games I actually made a list of about 13 um, scary video games and 13 horror movies that are perfect for Halloween and I'll link those put those in the description box and if you guys want you can check them out that's about all I have to say I guess so if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you don't like it give it a thumbs down and subscribe and you can also leave a comment if you're not from the United States you can say some custom or tradition that you have in your country if you celebrate Halloween or maybe you don't celebrate Halloween maybe tell us what you might do or if you want Halloween to happen over in your country I don't know so just leave a comment